Indicators of compromise. There are certain key behaviors that indicate an application, host, and network have been compromised. These indicators give us as cybersecurity analysts a better perspective on what has or will occur on the compromised device. Today, we will discuss some of the common indicators of compromise on the network. You ready? Let's go. So let's start it off with bandwidth utilization. This indicator of compromise is noted by its extremely large or small usage of bandwidth. But what exactly is bandwidth? Bandwidth can be defined as the rate at which data can be transferred through a medium, either wired or wireless, and is usually measured in bits per second. Within most networks, there are typical highs and lows expected in bandwidth utilization. An attacker may wait for a typical peak time in utilization to download or exfiltrate data. This may help disguise malicious activity within normal actions. So next up, we have beaconing. Beaconing is a periodic outbound connection between a compromised computer and an external controller. These controllers are typically referred to as C2 servers or command and control servers. Now, beaconing can be difficult to notice as some malware strains may randomize the beacons. Uh, these connections are typically detected by searching for known or unexpected destinations and looking at the frequency of the connections that are being made. Okay, and finally, we have anomalous peer-to-peer -peer communication. Most network architecture is designed on a client-server relationship. Typically, a few servers in the network will provide services to multiple hosts. Some attackers may successfully compromise a host and then attempt to compromise other hosts in the network by making use of certain privileges. Malicious peer-to-peer -peer activity is also known as lateral movement. Now, here are some common signs to look for when searching for lateral movement. This would include unprivileged accounts connecting to other hosts, privileged accounts connecting to regular hosts, and, and this is probably the biggest one, repeated failed remote logins. So as you can see, compromise can be seen on the network in the form of irregular peer communication, beaconing, and bandwidth utilization. There are other forms of compromise to be on the lookout for, but we will address those on a later video. For now, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And as always, subscribe if you want to hear more about cybersecurity. Well, until next time, it's been your friendly neighborhood brother, J. Butter, and I'm out.